North Street School family. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. I hope that everyone has had a wonderful week and that you are geared up for a fantastic Friday and an even better weekend. Now, we won't be with you on Monday for the morning announcements. It is a day off of school. It's actually a national holiday because it is Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a day where we recognize and we remember all of the people who have served in the armed forces of the United States and have died while doing so in order to protect our country and our freedoms. So while we do have the day off from school and many people have the day off from work, it is a day of remembrance. So while you enjoy the day off, make sure to remember why you have the day off. That's an important piece. And then we will be back with you on Tuesday. So, hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend and has a wonderful Memorial Day, and we'll see you next week. The vision for North Street School is to prepare students for today and tomorrow by creating more hands-on learning experiences. By respecting others' differences, we can create a better school and community for all people. Now onto the kitchen to see what's for lunch. Hey, North Street, for lunch today, I know we usually do pizza, but to get you ready for the weekend, I decided to go with some cheeseburgers and some green beans for lunch today. Enjoy! Curbside meal pickups for school-aged children will take place at the Carter Road Complex, West Street School, Bus Loop, and the Goodman Street Boys and Girls Club. Pickup for meals will occur Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And Mrs. Ed is at Glen Woods Cemetery in Geneva for today's daily challenge. Good morning, boys and girls, and TGIF. Happy Friday. Today, Mrs. Ed's daily challenge is Field Trip Friday. And I want to kind of just span a little bit. I bet you can guess where I am. I'm out at Glenwood Cemetery here in Geneva because we talked the other day in my daily challenge about a special holiday coming up, Memorial Day. So usually on Memorial Day, it's called Decoration Day. And a lot of people and families get together and they might go watch a parade, but many families go out to the cemetery and they plant flowers. So Mrs. Ed, my dad that passed away was a World War II veteran. So Mrs. Ed is here and I just took a cup and I've got some soil inside it. And I had some flowers called forget-me-nots because I don't wanna ever forget my dad. He was a great person, great dad. And he also fought for the United States. So I'm gonna plant some forget-me-nots so that that's a symbol that I'll always treasure my memories of him. So if you get a chance, Mrs. Ed's daily challenge is maybe plant some flowers. You don't have to go out to the cemetery, but if you do, that's awesome. Take pictures, send videos to me or Mr. Barry, and boys and girls, let's spread sunshine and smiles because these veterans fought hard for our freedom in the United States. So boys and girls, make it a great day. Have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy your Memorial Day. Get outside and do some planting. Decoration day. Decorate. Decorate your house. Decorate the cemetery. And yeah, find joy. Spread that ripples of kindness and happiness. All right, boys and girls, I won't see you Monday because we're off. Happy Memorial Day. I'll see you Tuesday. Love yous. Bye-bye. Sun is a shining. Gotta love it. All right. Peace.
Thank you, Mrs. Ed, for the insight on what Memorial Day truly means. NSS students, well, you have a well-deserved long weekend coming up with Memorial Day being celebrated on Monday. Here's our students being busy as ever. And now for another edition of Hashtag Ask the Berries. All righty then, and welcome to this Friday's edition of Hashtag Ask the Berries. And as per usual, we have two solid questions on the lineup for today. Yeah. Question one comes from Isabella, and Isabella wants to know if you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would that food be? So one food every day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. 
365 days a year or 366 days a year if it's a leap year for the rest of your life. Mrs. Barry, what are you going to go with? Um, so I had two, and I know I'm supposed to pick one, but I'm going to tell you those two, and then I'll pick the one. Love so it. I really love breakfast food. So I would really go with either like pancakes or cereal because with both, you can kind of like my class actually had this discussion before with both. You can kind of change it up the different cereals, the different, you could put different things on pancakes in pancakes, you know? Um, but I am going to, I'm going to go with cereal because I can, I can change up the types of milk or liquid I put in there. I could put chocolate milk in, just like I said a few weeks last week. And then with different cereals. So I'm going to go with cereal, definitely. Nice. You know, I was, I was trying to think of my favorite foods like sushi, Italian sausage, but I think I am going to go with tacos. I love tacos. Whether it's like ground turkey, ground beef, pork, chorizo, ah. Oh, shrimp tacos would probably be my go-to every day and breakfast tacos or burritos out now too yeah you can you can change tacos up too love it we're so smart all right and our last question comes from malcolm and malcolm who is really gonna test our strength here malcolm wants to know would you rather fight a lobster the size of a bear or a bear the size of a lobster so I'll, I'll answer this one first lobsters by themselves kind of freak me out a little bit with the size that they're being i really don't want to get pinched by their claws so a bear sized lobster would definitely would definitely freak me out even more now a bear a bear sized bear i've seen those you know, out hiking, it's a little intimidating, right? But they carry on. You know, they're more afraid of us than we are of them. And then a lobster-sized bear, well, that's smaller than the smallest dog, right? So I would feel terrible getting into a fight with a bear that's the size of a lobster. But if I must choose between the two, I'm definitely entering the ring with a bear the size of a lobster. Mrs. Barry. I the same exact thing and the same exact thinking too. Yeah, I, lobsters don't really freak me out, but if they were the size of the, a bear, yeah, it would be, I would be freaked out. You've, you've, uh, you've picked up live lobsters before? Uh, yes, but it's pinchers were closed. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. yeah, so I would go with a bear the size of a lobster, but I would probably want to cuddle it. So I wouldn't fight it. I mean, I would, maybe I would like just kind of, I would not kill it though. No. No, no, no such, we're, we're, we're not killing here. It's I know, but you can fight, you can fight so bad that it dies. We uh, apologize to the viewers here on how morbid this, this got here. Um, no lobsters or bears were harmed in the making of this edition of hashtag Ask the Berries. No. But with that, that is all we have for today. And with the holiday coming up, we will get back to you on Wednesday for the next edition of hashtag Ask the Berries. Everyone enjoy your weekend. Yes, please get outside. If you didn't see your question answered today, don't fear. On the next edition of Hashtag Ask the Berries, your question might be answered. Just keep sending those questions to me via email at theberry at genevacsd.org or message me on Talking Points. Okay all you science peeps out there. Our website of the day is a YouTube channel by the name of Kurz, Yeah, Kurzgesicht. That one. Although I'm most likely mispronouncing this channel's name, I'm here to say they are able to take complex 
scientific ideas such as microbiomes or black holes and make them into easily digestible bite-sized animated segments for your enjoyment. Come for the entertainment and leave with a larger brain. Well, not really larger, but you totally get the idea. And make sure you tune in every weekday morning at 9 a.m. to watch some fun, uplifting news. That is all the announcements for this morning. I'm Mr. Barry. Make it a great day, North Street.